Hello, welcome to AF Indonesia 2020 Goes Online. This is an institution webinar series. My name is Ogi. I'm going to be moderating this webinar. This webinar is going to be presented by IUM University. Please stay tuned until the end of the webinar because we will hold a Q&A session. If you have any questions about the presentations or anything related to the country's higher education, you can submit your questions in YouTube's comment section anytime throughout the presentations. And now, please welcome Alberto from IOM University. Thank you. Thank you very much for introducing me. My name is Alberto Zanetti, and I am International Recruitment Officer at IULM University in Milan, Italy. First of all, I would like to thank all the organization committee of this education fair for giving me the opportunity to present in this slot. And also, I would like to thank you for the great organization and for the incredible efforts that you have made in order to make this event possible, even with the restrictions that we have to respect. Um, I remember last year, um, this education fair was great. I was there present in person. And this year is being fruitful. Of course, it's not 100% the same, but, you know, it's a great event. So thank you very much. So I'm going to share my screen now. And I will show you a presentation about IULM University, that is my university in Milan. So I hope you can see the screen. I guess so. And we can start. So welcome to IULM University or Università Ulm, as we say it in Italian. First of all, I'm going to give you a few information about our university, general information, so for you to know and to get to know better our institution. Our university was established in 1968, and it is widely recognized in Italy and also abroad as the center of excellence for communication, foreign languages, tourism, and promotion of cultural heritage. Now, despite its relatively young age, because we can say that IULM University is relatively young if compared to other traditional and medieval style universities and campuses in Italy, our university was immediately recognized as one of the uh, top universities, if not the top university in communication studies in Italy. And I will tell you more about communication studies later on during this presentation. The university is divided into three faculties, as you can see, the Faculty of Communication, the Faculty of Interpreting and Translation, and the Faculty of Arts and Tourism. It is interesting to note is that it is a private, not-for-profit university which basically means that um, we take all the tuition fee from the students and we reinvest immediately the tuition fees in new facilities, new services for the students, new courses, and to create new knowledge. Of course, we do have a strong relation with the job market. We are very, very job and career oriented, but also research oriented. Let's have a look at the numbers. On the whole, we have nearly 7,000 students with a very, very good teaching staff to student ratio, as you can see on screen. The total quota of international students on campus at the moment is somewhere around 4.55%. But if we take into consideration the degree courses entirely held in English, this number rises up to 20%. We have a very unconventional campus. If you think of the uh, 
average Italian university campus, I shall say, because our university is, a, is an American style university where, as far as the campus is concerned. All the buildings are inside the university area, so enclosed, kind of enclosed in the campus. We have seven buildings, a 50,000 square meter campus, so quite a big campus, and one dedicated subway station in front of the main gate of the university. 13 degree courses, 18 one-year master programs, two PhD programs, and as far as statistics and rankings are concerned, IULM is currently ranked number one in Italy and number four in the European Union for engagement, so teaching engagement, according to the Times Higher Education Teaching Ranking in 2019. And we are currently ranked top three in Italy among private mid-sized universities. One of the advantages of being considered a mid-sized university is that our number of students is not very large and we are able to call international students really by name because we get to know in person, face to face, each and every international student that we enroll. Of course, it's almost needless to say that being based in Milan, we give international students the possibility to discover the Italian lifestyle at its best in the multicultural economic capital of Italy. Of course, Rome is, is the capital of Italy, but when it comes to economy, when it comes to multiculturality, when it comes to also education in a way, Milan is the place to be. And here you have the possibility to experience all these events, all these qualities of the big city. And we are based in Lombardy. It is always interesting to remember that Lombardy is ranked number two for regional GDP in the European Union. And it is constantly in the top 20 for GDP per capita. And in 2018, this position was, again, top 20. We are a very international university. We have more than 150 partner universities worldwide, and we are an Erasmus program C, which means that international students enrolled to IULM also have the possibility to pick an Erasmus program and to spend a study abroad period. We also give students the possibility to do internship abroad and thesis research abroad. As I've told you before in the previous slide, we are very career oriented. Our students are able to find a job within a year from graduation ceremony. We have more than 1,400 partner companies. And we give our students the possibility to do internships, sometimes I would say most of the times the internships are mandatory. So you are supposed to do an internship period before graduating. And last but not least, we are able to give counseling, peer tutoring, and a wide range of services for disabled students. Just a few words. I don't wanna bother you too much about the education system in Italy because I presume you already know a lot about the education system in Italy since you are attending this education fair. But just for you to know, we have our education from primary to secondary school, which is a total of 13 years. And the threshold in order to access the higher education system in Italy is 12 years. Then we offer undergraduate programs, the so-called bachelor degrees, graduate programs, two-year master's degrees, and in between, one-year master programs. Then we offer PhD programs, and then you have the pathway to the job market. Now, a few things 
about what we did during the spreading of the COVID-19 pandemic, because it's also interesting to mention. We were amongst the first universities in Italy to immediately switch from in-presence to online lectures. And we immediately increased on-campus security, providing extra sanitation for students and the personnel and information in English. So each and every piece of information concerning the pandemic was immediately translated into English overnight. We offered, and we still offer, psychological counseling, mindfulness sessions for our students, and peer-to-peer -peer meetings with tutors. And the number of webinars on stress management during these tough times. We also gave specific training on distance learning techniques, and we organized a number of students' groups' virtual meetings because community life is important, even during a global pandemic. Now, to speak about our academic offer and to enter in the core part of this presentation, we offer a number of bachelor's degrees, as you can see on screen. For sure, the highlight is our three-year bachelor's degree in corporate communication and public relations, entirely held in English. But as far as the courses held in Italian are concerned, we offer interpreting and communication, communication media and advertising, corporate communication and public relations, tourism management and culture, arts, media and cultural events, fashion and creative industries. To be more specific, I've told you before about corporate communication and public relations. As a matter of fact, this was the first course ever established in Italy on public relations. It's a three years, 180 ECTS course, and as you can see, we have an excellent balance between professionals and academics in the teaching staff. It's a state-of-the-art study plan, always renovating itself. And 65% of graduates is able to find a job within one year from the graduation ceremony. And this is one of the best results among bachelors in public communicate in public relations and communications in Italy. What this course is able to give you is a solid preparation on economics and management, of course, an evaluation. So you will be able to evaluate the impact of media on social and cultural systems. You will be a highly specialized worker with knowledge on communication procedures. So you will be a corporate communication leader, a PR leader, a spokesperson with high level skills. And you will be also able to enhance your personal skills and motivation. At graduate level, so the two years master's degrees, we have two courses entirely taught in English, strategic communication, and hospitality and tourism management, double degree. These courses are very, very interesting for international prospective students. Um, just to mention few information, for example, about hospitality and tourism management. It is a double degree held in cooperation with the University of Central Florida, UCF in the United States and the students have the possibility to choose whether to attend the second year of the course at the partner university, so in the United States. As a matter of fact, when you finish the course, you will receive two titles, a master's degree in HTM, Hospitality and Tourism Management from IULM, and the same title from UCF, University of Central Florida. As for the academic offer in Italian language, we offer the natural continuation of our bachelor programs. So we have specialized translation and conference interpreting, television, cinema, and new media, marketing, consumption, and communication, 
art valorization and market. In addition, we have a wide choice of one-year master programs. What's the difference between a two-year master's degree and a one-year master program? These programs can be chosen immediately after your bachelor's degree, and they are sort of a privileged pathway, um, if you want to say so, to the job market. So on the one hand, you have the two-year master's degree, which is more academia-oriented, if you want. And it is the ideal pathway to the PhD. Instead, if you want to go to the job market or, or if you are already part of the job market, for example, if you are already running a business, you may go for a one-year master program. We have six programs entirely taught in English. Two of them are executive programs, so specifically designed for people who already run a business. We have communication for international relations, international communication, international tourism and hospitality, game design, international marketing and sales communication, and the latest edition, which is also online, it is an online course, museology, new media, and museum communication. It is interesting to notice that for example, for the course in communication for international relations and also the one-year master in international tourism and hospitality, we give students the possibility to take part in a study tour. What's a study tour? In the second part of the study plan, so the second semester, the students get the possibility to travel to the places where the big decisions are made. Um, just to give you an example, for communication for international relations, in the second semester, you get the chance to travel to the United States and to visit the headquarters of the United Nations in New York or the White House in Washington, D.C. or the National Congress. So you are going to visit the places where your specialization is at, at its best in the world. And the study tour, by the way, is included in the tuition fee. So the admission requirements. For the three-year bachelor's degrees, you need to have a high school diploma with at least 12 years of schooling, as I've told you before. Then a B2 level certified Italian or English proficiency, depending on the language of the intended degree course. If you don't have a certificate or if you are struggling to take a certificate, because we do know that at present some, actually a lot of language schools worldwide are closed due to the pandemic. So you don't need to worry. You will take an assessment test at IULM. The application process is very smooth very easy. Normally, we are able to respond within 15 days, three weeks. Our admission team is super friendly, and you will always find someone able to help you. You just need to submit your qualifications to our application portal, application platform, apply.iulm.it. Then you will be evaluated by our admission team, and if you're eligible, you will take the admission test, which can also be taken from distance due to the travel restrictions. Then you will have to enroll online and IULM University will send the invitation letter to you. And with that letter, you will be able to complete all the bureaucracy staff at the Italian consulate in your area. The requirements for the two-year master's degrees are pretty much the same. There are no huge differences. Of course, you need to have a bachelor's degree in a field which is strictly related to your chosen program. You need to have language proficiency in English and or Italian, depending on the degree course you want to attend again. In addition, 
there will be uh, an interview. Most of the times there will be a live interview or even a pre-recorded interview. And you will get the chance to interact with the director of your future degree program. So you will have to show good knowledge of topics related to your chosen degree and a strong motivation. Now, the juicy part, maybe one of the most interesting part of this presentation, the tuition fees. We have very competitive tuition fees, if you consider that we are a private university. For the three-year undergraduate programs, the tuition fee is 8,400 euros per year, divided into three installments. The first installment is normally due when you complete your enrollment and you become a student at IULM. The second installment is normally to be paid in December. And the third installment is to be paid in March of the following year. For the master's degrees, the tuition fee is 9,800 euros per year, divided into three installments again. For one-year master programs, so the courses I've mentioned before, the tuition fee may range from 6,000 up to 18,000 euros per year or per semester, depending on the duration of the programs. If you're interested in tuition fees for the one-year master programs, you can send an email to us and we will be very happy to give you extra information on those courses. We offer a number of financial aid opportunities for talented students. The highlight is, of course, the 50% reduction of the first year tuition fee based on merit. What does that mean? It means that if you are a very good student with good grades, for example, with a high school final score of 70% or above, or a bachelor's final score with 70% or above, you may be eligible for a 50% reduction of the tuition fees. And interesting to notice, this reduction may be carried into the second year or the third year if you're attending a bachelor or the second year if you're attending a master's degree, if you're able to get a good number of credits in the subjects you are studying. We also give international students the possibility to win on-campus accommodation at a special rate of 280 euros per month, of course, according to availability. And last but not least, the regional scholarship, the DSU scholarship. International students are welcome to apply. There may be grants up to 4,500 euros per year, and accommodation and free meal service may be included. This regional scholarship may be combined with the 50% tuition fee reduction. However, I'm being very, very honest with you. It's relatively difficult, a bit hard to win this scholarship because the competition is really, really high. The competition is fierce. And to be honest, if I were you, I would consider the DSU Regional Scholarship as an extra option, not the main option. Our American style campus in Milan is waiting for you. As I've told you before, our campus is nothing like the other campuses, the other typical campuses in Italy. As you can see from the picture, we are a very American-like university. And all the buildings are new, and we add new facilities every academic year. We are 10 minutes away from Duomo and the city center and all the shopping district, the, the cultural district, the museums by subway. We have three on-campus cafeterias and one public park inside the campus. So every room, every place, every office that you need to visit is within walking distance. So this 
is the end of my presentation about IULM. I thank you very much for your kind attention. If you have any type of inquiries, if you want to ask questions, feel free to contact us. Our main channel is admission at iulm.it, our official email. Please visit our website, www.iulm.com, the English version of our official website. We also have a direct, we also have a uh, direct WhatsApp number for direct inquiries. Okay, thank you, Alberto, for the presentations. Now we will begin to the Q&A sessions. Um, the very first question is, uh, do you have any partner university in Indonesia? Okay, can I just make a check with you? Can you hear me? Because I changed my mind. Um, quite low, actually. Yeah, maybe you can okay. move can forward. You can you hear me now? Uh, yeah, uh, but the volume is still, uh, still quite a bit low. Okay, because I had to change my microphone, so I hope you can hear me. Yes, but yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so thank you for your question. Um, at this very moment, we don't have a partner university in Indonesia because we have just launched our international relations in Indonesia. So we are, I shall say, we are quite new to the Indonesia market, to the Indonesia country. And we are willing to establish possibly new relations with new partners, but we don't have any partner university at the moment. Okay, thank you for the answer. There is a new question here. Um, for the online master in museology, when will it start? And how, the how about the process of the en enrollment uh, with the other uh, master program? Okay, thank you for your question. Well, the master in museology may have a different, slightly different intakes um, if compared, for example, to the bachelor's programs or the master's degrees. On a regular basis, we have uh, one, only one intake. So our university only has one intake. That is in September, October. But for the one year master programs or the six month master programs, also executive masters, these deadlines for intake, for enrollment may vary a lot, depending on the single course. So my suggestion is to get in touch with our admission team as soon as possible using the email contact that I just provided to you. So admission at IULM.it. So we will give you the specific information for that course. Okay, thank you for the answer. Uh, the next question is about uh, the internship program. Is there an internship program uh, that IOM University have? Yes. Well, as a matter of fact, we have a huge number of internship programs. We have more than 1,400 partner companies. And for the majority of our courses, both at bachelor and master level, the internship period is mandatory. So most of the times the students cannot choose whether or not during the internship period. They have to, it's mandatory. And especially when it comes to the two-year master's degrees or the one-year master programs, but also I would say for the three-year bachelor's programs, many students are able to retain their jobs once they finish the internship period. So the internship becomes placement immediately. So you don't need to search for a job because you already have a job. Okay, thank you. 
um, move to the next question is, how about the living toes there? Well, this is a very, very interesting question. And I'm going to be very, very honest with you. I don't want to lie to you because that would be unfair. As you probably know, Milan is a very expensive city. So no surprise. Milan is an expensive city. It can be hugely expensive at times. Um, if you are staying outside the campus, so if you choose a private solution for accommodation, I would say that you should take into account to budget at least 1,000, uh, 1,200 euros per month for accommodation and living expenses. So the grocery store, um, going out with friends, of course, whenever it will be possible again. Yeah, I would say 1,000, 1,200 euros per month. Okay, thank you. Um, the next question is about uh, the minimum GPA. Uh, is there any requirement of the GPA to the master degrees of the university, the IUM university? The admission requirements may vary according to the intended master's degree course. Um, normally, we are quite flexible, so the GPA requirement is not that high. Um, I should say at least 70% of the total final grade, uh, but if you want to have specific information on your intended degree course, the best solution is to send an email to admission at iulm.it to make a formal inquiry about your GPA and your credentials. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next question is about uh, the challenge. Uh, what is the big challenge for the international students there uh, for the very first time study in uh, IOLM University? Well, this is an intriguing question, very intriguing question, because, of course, studying abroad it always is a challenge um, for definition, okay? But um, I would say, as I've mentioned during my presentation, one of the greatest advantages of IULM University is that we are a medium-sized university. What does that mean? Just having 7,000 students overall, it means that every year we are able to meet and to do, for example, focus groups um, with international students, and we get to know them by name, each and every one of them. So becoming an international student at IULM is not a challenge because you will always find a friendly environment, people always ready to help you, and you will find a very state-of-the-art study plan with top quality teaching staff and top quality services. Maybe if I can give you a challenge, because you asked for a challenge, well, there may be a challenge. Um, our degree programs are very, very high quality programs. And, you know, the competition and the, um, the striving for excellence and also the possibility to emerge during, for example, the workshops and all the events and all the activities that we organize is very high. So, to sum up, it's not a challenge to become a student at IULM. It's a challenge if you want to be truly successful because we are a high quality university. That's the truth. Okay, thank you. Um, maybe uh, this question is already answered before the presentation, but there's still a question about the fully funded scholarship there. Is there any chance that for the student, international students have fully funded scholarship in the IOM University? Well, not 
not strictly speaking, um, it's not possible to have a full tuition fee waiver, for example. That would not be possible because we do not offer full scholarships, 100% scholarships. Um, you may be rely, you may be relying on the 50% tuition fee reduction, as I've mentioned before. Um, as a matter of fact, there, there may be exceptional cases in which prospective students are able to win the 50% tuition fee reduction, and at the same time, they are granted the regional scholarship. So practically speaking, that would be very, very close to a full tuition fee waiver. But strictly speaking, there are no full tuition fee waivers. Okay, thank you. Um, this is questions about a part time here. So, uh, can you doing a part time uh, during the study there in IULM University? So, and what type of part time job that you can do there? Uh, do, can you uh, fulfill your living cost with that part time jobs? Thank you. That's a very interesting question. Thank you for asking. Yes, yes, absolutely. It is possible to apply and to win a part-time job as a student worker. Um, many students are able to work for offices inside the university. For example, the university library or the university career and placement office or even the international office, the place where I work. It's, it's normal to have student workers joining us um, you may be able to cover, I would say, up to 50% 50, 50 of the living expenses. Yes, absolutely. Okay, uh, so this is maybe the last question is, do you need uh, to serve the letter of reference from the company to uh, get a, a master degree in IOM University? That would be very welcome. That would be very welcome. If, if a prospective student has a reference letter from a company he or she is already working with, that would be great. We also take into consideration uh, recommendation letters, reference letters, and of course your CV. Okay, thank you for the answer. Okay, that's the end of our Q&A sessions today. Uh, just a reminder that you can connect with uh, Alberto through the information given by him before earlier in the presentations. And now I have to announce once again that we already have a virtual affair, virtual affair also uh, that uh, already happened to, uh, this, this day. So you can consult directly for, to the university representative and ask further about their study plan there. So thank you, uh, Alberto, and see you in the next sessions. All Thank you. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much for having Thank me you. today. And if you have extra questions, please pop by our virtual booth in the Education Fair. I'll be there. Thank you.